How'd you get up here? It's your boy, I, Rank Mountain Bike here. Pull? And today, I see some cows. But in other news, it's race day. Right, it's the Texas Enduro Cup Stage 3 at Reveille Peak now. Ranch. And this will be my second Enduro race ever. But I have learned some things since my last Enduro race. First thing I learned is I need to get better at cornering. Luckily, I watched a bunch of YouTube tutorials on this though, so now I'm a cornering expert. I got it. Second thing I learned, more pedaling. You just gotta suck it up. And with these two tips in mind, I was ready for this race. So to start off this race, I chose the bumpiest stage, which was full commando. And there were a lot of bumps, and my legs were not prepared for any of them. So let's get it. So after full commando, I decided to head over to Flodello, and I quickly realized that I was only going to get one chance at each of these stages, mainly because the stages were super far apart. So in order to compensate for this, I just had to go really fast on the first try. Easy, right? Let's get it. I heard it. After completing Flodello, I quickly realized that uh, pedaling sucks. 
but little did I know I was gonna have to do a lot more of it in the upcoming stages. And next I was off to Sweet School, which happened to be one of the longer stages with a lot of pedaling, and my legs were not having it. So despite clipping a tree and almost sliding out the very end, I thought Sweet School went pretty well. So next I was headed over to Jaws, which is a super fast track with a lot of jumps on it. And unfortunately I wasn't super experienced on this stage, so I ended up casing a lot of the jumps and going around one of them. But apart from that, it was still a fun stage. Okay, that was a little bit slow, but it was safe. So after Jaws, I only had two stages left, Vulture and Super D, and these were the two stages I was most worried about. But first I headed up to Vulture, and I was worried about this stage because I had never ridden it before, so I'd be riding it blind while still trying to go super fast. So let's see how that went. Oh, 
save it, save it, save it. Yeah. Good work. It's filled. Really about line twice. It's really hard to ride the trail blind. Good work. Oh. Great run. <sighs> that one's really gnarly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one, man. Okay, Super D. This is my last stage of the day. So I'm gonna go as hard as I possibly can. And hopefully I uh, don't I don't die. That's, uh, that's the goal for this stage. All right, let's do it. Legs don't cramp. Don't cramp. Don't cramp. Oh Lord. Oh, there's more on too. It's not what I wanted. Ah! My legs are not. My legs are not really flat. Oh. not pedal anymore. Oh no, there's the cramp. Oh shit. Oh no. Stop cramping. And with my muscle cramps all sorted out, I headed back to turn in my chip and see my results. All right, I'm done and for this day. race, I got 13th out of 19th in the men 18 to 29 category with a total time of 12 minutes and 16 seconds, which is definitely an improvement from last race. But there's still a way to go if I want to get one of those top spots. So I think the thing that I need to work on the most is being able to pedal and being in shape. So uh, I guess I'll just have to get good before the next race. But as always, you got to go hard to get hard. Thanks for watching.